I'm down here in the Discovery Room at the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery, and I'm talking to Aaron. Aaron, you're running the summer pro the uh, summer camps this summer, right? Yeah, correct. I'm running the uh, art camps for kids this summer. And so we got that split into three main age groups. Right. So there's three to five, six to eight, and then eight, nine to 12. And we also have some camps for some uh, teens. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the camps for teens is a photography camp. And I'm also doing a introduction to film camp. Oh, cool. So for that, we're going to be kind of focusing on animation using iPad. Oh. Um, so if you've seen shows like Waypost Bay or uh, Corpse Bride, uh, other Tim Burton stuff, it's going to be something like that. Mm -hmm. The kids get to choose either using uh, plasticine to do animation or doing cutout puppets. Very cool. And then there's also a uh, plastic art week that they're doing making art with uh, plastic, sort of like jewelry, but a bit more bit more complex. And that's all for the teens? That's all for teens, yeah. And then we have our camps that are for the younger ages, and most of those have to do with geographic locations. Mm -hmm. So we have the Latin America week, we have an Asia week, which I'm really excited for. I think that one's going to be really yeah. good. We got them doing some origami and then some uh, some beavers, because uh, there's a beaver uh, from Mongolia, actually, that's going extinct. So get the connection between Canada and another part of the world, right? So right. that's kind of cool. And then there's the Middle East week, which I'm also excited about. We're going to be doing some pyramids and then looking at some Turkish culture as well. So it's sort of exploring the world through making art as kids. And it's, it's great for kids to be opened up to that as something new for them to do. A lot of the stuff that we're using each week, they might not have had any experience using these kind of materials like clay or uh, um, plasticine, uh, pencil crayons they've probably used before. Yeah, yeah. But you know, some of the stuff they may not have had a lot of experience with. So. I'm looking forward to that. So any week that they sign up for, they're going to get a variety of, of material. There's no yeah. specific material that they only get one week. I just kind of wanted to make it fair so they all get to explore differently. Now, Aaron, there's always something interesting about, uh, childish even, about molding something with clay, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time working with clay can be kind of going back to your childhood. And it's great for kids to, uh, to work with clay, I think, because when I was a kid, my school didn't have a pottery uh, kiln. They didn't, we didn't work with clay at all. And I think it's great to have those kind of opportunities for kids. So whichever week they want to sign up for, I'm trying to find a clay thing to do for each week. So Asia week, we got them doing Mongolian beavers. Uh, in the Middle East week, we got them doing pyramids. And they're doing kind of a sun moon uh, combination thing for the Latin America week. Mm -hmm. So it's a good variety of things whichever week they want to sign up for. Mm -hmm. um, the 1960s week is going to be a little different um, because it's not a location, it's a time period. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking at some artists from that time. So we got Andy Warhol, uh, Roy Lichtenstein, um, a lot of different artists from there. So the kids are going to make their own art in the kind of style that that artist used. So okay. one's going to be, they're, they're going to be doing uh, color fields based on the color scheme of a clip from a kid's movie that they enjoy. I'll give them a few to choose from to make it easier. And that kind of thing makes it really good for the kids to kind of have a connection to art through artists who a lot of people are familiar with. And people get the idea that these artists are, you know, just in insanely talented and just kind of came out of the womb that way. But that's not really the case. I mean, most great art that you see by the time you see it, it's the process or the result rather of years and years of that skill being refined in that artist. So you sort of touched on it too. Yeah. Every great artist has been influenced by another artist, right? Exactly. And so the younger that you get influenced by artists, the more you have to choose from as you get older and see what kind of material you like to work with. So that's why for each week I want to have a variety of materials for kids to, to explore and get comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And then there's also um, there's also a application program for scholarships. So if money is any kind of issue, that shouldn't be something that parents or kids really feel any concern about. That's not necessary. We have a scholarship thing in place where they just have to fill out a form, kind of, you know, first choice, second choice deal, depending on how full the weeks are getting. And then mm -hmm. we can help them get into the camps that way. If they don't have, you know, a lot of money saved up to go to an art camp, we can help them out there too. Right on, Aaron. Well, this, first of all, this is a lot of information to take in. Um, the registration is on now. If people want to register or have more or want more information, how can they go about doing it? Well, they can uh, come down to the gallery anytime um, and just talk to us here. We're very open talking about people. And then they can also just give us a phone call and uh, sign up that way. So we try and be as accessible as possible. Yeah, and uh, the website too. The website, yeah. They can check out the website for information, send us an email on there. Um, so it's just uh, MJMA. They do this too. G. Exactly. Dot com. Just the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery dot com without the and.
Right on. Well, Aaron, uh, I want to thank you for joining us here today. And of course, this gives us a great look at what's going on for the summer for the art gallery. Yeah, well, thank you for, for talking with me. I mean, I just think it's great to get kids doing some art in the summer because uh, a lot of the summer is just kind of relaxing, enjoying your free time. But sometimes it's nice to have something with a little more guided to it. So our camps are usually half of a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have a partnership with the YMCA that gives them a full day of camp. That's in August. Yeah. And so they spend half of the day doing physical activity uh, with the Y, and then they spend half of the day over here making some cool art. Right on. There you go, left brain and right brain, right? Definitely. It's a good connection. All right. Well, if you want more information, just check out the bottom of your screen. For Shaw TV, I'm Brett Hopper.